Morning, Gardner, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, uh, you see what I'm doing. And you see what's in this trade. A way to save money, which is grow your own seedlings. I just want you to get a good look at that. This is packed. And these are grown in bulk. That's what I do. The underneath of a lamp that I made right there. $26. Well, more than that now because I put the uh, one plant bulb in. I should have put two in it, but I'm not paying $40 unless I see it actually works. Um, so I just put a regular bulb in and a plant bulb. Let's just see what happens. But you can see I'm not I'm not hurting for anything. All that's packed in there. Um, and they're growing beautifully. Look at, oh, look at the cabbage back there. Look at that. They're almost running out of the container. Then we got the peppers. We got all kinds of peppers in here. Jalapenos. We got banana peppers. We got chili peppers. We got bell peppers. You name it. We got it. It's here. And look at that. Right there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Isn't that great? Look at that. That right there. And up here now I'm doing something a little different. It look unneeded, untidy, and everything. Look at this. Inside uh, these bags is uh, a pot. I think it's a three inch pot. You got little holes put in there all the way around them. I'm show that off too because that lets air all through there so I can uh, prune the roots on their own. Now, I got everything written on the sides of the pot. The ones that didn't have it, put a note inside. Everything from herbs. Well, these are mostly herbs. Let's put it that way. These are mostly herbs. Probably all herbs. Because I want to make sure I have herbs this year. So it's like, well, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven pots. All herbs, different types of parsley, three different kinds. Um, thyme, uh, basil, everything. And I put them in these because I didn't feel like doing it where I want, where I usually do it. And I said, let me do it this way. So the inside of here, inside the sandwich bag, inside of here. And I did something here. I did not water them. I just used the moisture from this soil mix that I used. I just want to see how much moisture can it generate. In that bag, because I used to, I used to put the uh, the big dark bag up there, which I love that. And this uh, bag here would generate so much water inside. I mean, lots of water, folks. So we got oh yeah, let's not rule out anything. We got them on a heat mat. Got the little heat gun there. Let's see. Whoa! Got to bring your temperature down, buddy. Well, I just put them up there, so I'm going to definitely bring that temperature down. All right, so we got that done. Back here is one of our keys to our arsenal. This is water, but it's not just any water. It's water. Now, catch this now. It's been sitting out over 48 hours before it's ever used on my plants. 48 hours. This right here is uh, vermiculite. That goes right on the top because it, it, it helps it to hold moisture there and it gets rid of any kind of mold. That's important, folks. Get rid of that mold. Don't have that mold growing up there. It'll kill your plants. Uh, and this nasty little bottle here, that's our fish emulsion. Fish emulsion, uh, which is primarily um, mostly nitrogen, one part, one part of phosphorus, you know, and all that good stuff. The three, three most important um, macronutrients so you see that there and that there this is the most important one right here is the water so we got our plants down here we got our spray bottles here that's contained uh, which is a fish emulsion in it and uh, we keep everything watered pretty moist like this right here this is um Swiss chard growing up and over here we got some uh, got some cabbage no not cabbage this is a uh, lettuce, and over here, I don't remember and don't really care because I know it's either spinach uh, or it's um, it's more of the lettuce. Look at this right here, folks. That's groceries, and and it's going to be the finest groceries because what's happening here 
is um, when I grow this, I want it to be, I want it to, I'm going to use the word perfect, but the key, the very key to everything, everything is soil. The key is soil. You want these suckers growing in pretty soil. I don't mean that little soil where they, it's hard clay and, and, and uh, or it's too sandy. You want these in pretty soil. Pretty. And then your plants will be pretty. Look at that one right there. Already got his uh, true leaves. And those true leaves don't mean anything, folks, but it's getting ready to do its deal. But these here, I've been feeding uh, fishy moss, and even though a lot of them don't have their true leaves, and they don't really take in the nutrients right now. They just basically using what they have in their stored stored uh, deposits. But once they start taking off and putting them true leaves on, like these here have their true leaves on, then I'll move them to a larger container. All right, folks. I hope you're getting something out of this and it's inspiring you because I'm telling you, all this stuff I'm, I'm doing is not hard to do. I mean, I got a heat mat here. It's set at 110. That's got to go down a great deal. Um, so we're going to make sure that's straight and we're looking good here up here. We got soil in this container ready to be used The soil in this container being used. And that's going to, I mean, I'm set. I'm just waiting for the weather to start opening up. We're getting 50 degree days. Um, we're getting 50 degree days and, and that's helping out a great deal. Uh, I got a heater in this room. Um, I got a heater. I got a thermostat, everything's set to, you know, do what it's got to do. All right, folks, this is the Morning Garden. If you have any, any at all comments, trust me, I'll answer them. Just just send them on to me if you have any questions, anything. And don't think no question is too, uh, you know, that it don't deserve an answer. It does. So just send it in and say, hey, I, I want to learn how to grow tomatoes. I want to learn how to grow peppers. Or what kind of soil mix are you using on your peppers? You know, that's it. All right, folks, this is the Morning Garden. Thank you for tuning in. And remember to send those comments.